When doing research about a topic, one of the most important parts is citing the information you plan to use correctly. There are several free tools on the internet you can use to build citations, but they are only as good as the person who is putting the necessary pieces in. In order to avoid plagiarism and reference your research information effectively, it is important to understand what the parts of each source mean and where they fit into a citation. In this video, we will look at a journal article and indicate what each piece means. When you find an article you want to use, first click on the title of the article to open up the record or profile of the article. There's a lot you can do on this page, including downloading the PDF of the article, copying the permalink, and pinning the article to your favorites for later access. Make sure you are logged into your UB Library account, which is the same credentials as your UBIT name, to access and organize this list in the future. If you decide you want to use this article in your research after skimming or reading it, the next step is to identify each piece of the article, as these are important pieces of your citation. First, the title of the article is the largest and most obvious one. It is in bolded blue text. Make sure it matches what you clicked on from your results list. Next, identify the authors. For this specific article, there are two, with their last names displayed first. Most journal articles will have more than one author, which is different from other sources like websites and some books. The author's name will likely be shown in the citation with the last name first, so get in the habit of recognizing that. On the next line is some publication or copyright information. This is not important to your citation, so be sure to skip it. On the third line are the following. The name of the journal, which is where the article is published. In this example, it is Social Sciences. Basil in parentheses is not important and should be omitted from your citation. The year of publication comes after this. In this case, the article was published in 2021. Remember to check the guidelines of your assignment to ensure the information you are using is within the date range of research your professor desires. The next two pieces are kind of a package deal. The volume number and the issue number, which is in parentheses. Because scholarly journals are published periodically, these numbers help indicate what specific journal volume to reference, as there may be several published in 2021. Lastly are the page numbers, where you can find the article within the journal. Sometimes this is different from what is in the downloaded PDF. In this example, when I download the PDF, I see the page range starts on 1 and goes to 32. When building your citation, you want to manually change this page range to reflect what is correct. Page numbers are especially important because if you were to quote something from the text of the article, you need to have the correct page number for the in-text citation. This enables the reader of your work to find the original information in the article you referenced. Now that we have identified the necessary pieces of your citation, return to the record page again and click on Citation. The UB Library's website will automatically build you a citation for whatever you access. However, that does not mean it will be 100% correct. You may have to make some edits yourself. Be sure you know what citation style your assignment is in. For this example, I will use APA. After clicking on the style of my choosing, the citation is built and able to be copied to your work cited. Just looking at this example, I know I will have to change a few things here, such as making sure the title doesn't have capital letters for each word except the first one or proper nouns, the basil in parentheses needs to be deleted, and the page number range is incorrect. These are small fixes though, and since you know how to locate the correct pieces of a citation, it should only take a few moments. Now that you understand the ins and outs of the information related to an article, you should be all set when citing your work. Remember, if you need any more help, please visit the research guides dedicated to citation styles or reach out to a librarian either by stopping by or messaging the 24-7 chat service.